Hey guys, Tanya Mack here. Today I am with Aiden Seraphim, licensed acupuncturist and owner of Heart Centered Transformational Wellness. Today we're going to be doing a demo called Neuro Emotional Technique. Stay tuned. So, Aiden, what is this neuro emotional technique stuff? Well, Tanya, um, so I, I think that we all uh, are familiar with the experience of having emotions that feel as if we can never let go of them. Mm -hmm. um, things that get trapped inside of our body, and in Chinese medicine, we would say they get tra trapped within the meridians of our body. Um, and so, this technique is focused on accessing these neuro emotional compounds and helping to facilitate their release through specific acupuncture channels. Um, and so I like to always explain it to people like, um, we are familiar with inflammation and that inflammation has a cycle that it goes through uh, and it needs to go through that whole entire cycle in order to be resolved. However, most of us, we take uh, anti-inflammatories and stuff like that, which cut off that whole cycle. And so uh, inflammation is not ever able to go through the resolution phase. Um, so people end up with a low grade level of chronic inflammation all the time. So this analogy is very similar to what happens with our emotional experiences as well. Said that, you know, emotional experiences are just essentially neurochemical complexes. Um, and these things have a cycle just like inflammation. In a healthy expression, they should go through a cycle of about a two to four minute experience. However, we tend to like certain emotions, dislike others. Um, we tend to contract around the emotions that we don't like, which then causes them to become trapped or stuck in our bodies. We also tend to create stories around our emotional experiences. And those also can uh, create a, a situation in which those emotions will become trapped within our body as well. Wow, fascinating stuff. You're so not gonna make really me cry powerful. during this demo, are you? I can't promise you anything, Tanya. <laughs> However, I will say that um, neuroemotional technique is not therapy, so we're not interested in going into the story about um, that you've created around the specific emotion. And we're also using your body and we're using kinesiology and your, your specific nervous system to access what is the um, most essential emotion that needs to be released and what is your body ready for at this moment in time. So we're always respecting you and your body. And sometimes, you know, it's, these are layered things, you know, like our emotional experiences from the time that we're born until, you know, how old are you now, Tanya? 40. 40. So, you know, in 40 years, we can accumulate quite a few layers in this onion of emotional sort of constipation, I would say. <laughs> <laughs> and so like, um, this process is sort of a gentle process of slowly peeling back the layer of an onion, you know, one layer at a time. Um, and it's really important because not only do our emotions impact our overall mood, but they can impact our health. You know, a lot of pain condi uh, conditions, a lot of chronic uh, health issues have a huge emotional component. And so when we resolve the emotional component, we find that people's pain decreases, we find that their chronic diseases mm -hmm. oftentimes begin to have the opportunity to resolve themselves where they used to maybe be stuck and not able to. Great, so should we show them how it works? I think so. Let's do it. Alrighty. So the way this works is that um, essentially what we want to be able to get to is a place where we are okay no matter what happens in our life, positive or negative, that our nervous system is in a, in a state where we recognize that we might prefer one thing or over the other, but that we will be okay no matter what happens. For most of us, that's not the case. Um, and so what we want to do is we want to identify sort of an issue in your life that you've been struggling with, with that you might not feel like you're okay about. So can you think about that? Um, well, I think one of the issues that I would like to work on is a lot of times I feel like I'm procrastinating when I have a lot of things to do and I would like that causes me anxiety. Okay. So maybe we can work on that. All right, sure. So we want to always uh, formulate a sentence in, the, in a positive way because we don't want to access the frontal lobe. We want to get back here to the subconscious mind so that we can get in touch with some of the emotions that might be contributing to this issue that you're experiencing. So we could perhaps word uh, the sentence like, I am okay feeling like I have enough time to get everything I need to get done. How's that sound to you? Sounds good. All right. 
right, so the first thing we want to do when we do this technique is we want to see if your nervous system is working, okay? okay? So I'm going to lightly push down on your arm until there's a lock right here in this muscle. See that? Mm -hmm. Now, boom. Oh my gosh. See how that worked? Let's do that again. Ready? Okay. Boom. <laughs> That means that you are electrical. That means that you're turned on and that you're working. Oh, thank so God. So that means that we That's can actually use. do this work, okay? okay? All right, so here we go. Let's find that lock. Now I want you to say that sentence over and over again. I am okay feeling like I have enough time to get everything that I need to get done. Okay. Out loud or to Out loud. myself? Okay. Over I'm, I am okay feeling like I can get everything I need done. Mm, there we I, go, keep saying it. I am okay feeling like I can get everything done. I am okay feeling like I can get everything done. Let's go to this side. I am okay feeling like I can get everything done. Okay. I am okay feeling like I can get everything done. Okay. I am okay feeling that I can get everything done. There it is. Okay. So we're going to put that aside and then we're going to check out the concept of some emotions. Okay? okay. Here we go. Let's check out the concept of false pride. Let's check out the concept of shame. Let's check out the concept of shame. Oh my gosh. So can you put together in a sentence that makes sense to you a feeling of shame that you might be carrying somewhere inside of yourself that relates to feeling like you can get everything that you need to get done? Yeah, I feel like, I don't know if I can say the sentence right, but I feel like there's a lot of guilt associated to not doing, like you're not getting, doing enough. Not doing enough. Okay, yeah. so, so this shame is kind of like this feeling of guilt in your body. Right. Yeah, so what's the hardest thing about that for you? Um, I just, I feel like, I just feel like I could be doing more. You could be doing more. Yeah. Can you feel in your body that sensation? Can you feel it coming yeah. up? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let it fully come up. We're not in the store. Ooh, see how that got strong now? Now we're going to take this finger right here and we're going to press on this point. I want you to put this on your forehead, lean forward onto your knees, and slowly take breaths in and out deeply into your belly, allowing the fullness of that feeling of shame and guilt around feeling like you could be doing more, allow just the physical sensation in your body of what that emotion feels like to fully come up. Allow your space, the breath, to create space around it so that it can come up and out of you. We allow space around it so that we honor the emotion of that shame and that guilt. And then we release it with the exhale. Just continue to breathe in and out around that emotion. Anytime that you go back into the story, bring yourself back to the body until you feel like that sensation and of that emotion in your body has started to shift. And when you experience that, you can sit back up. See how strong that got? Wow. Turn your head to the left. To the left. Oh. oh. <laughs> Are there any other emotions related to feeling like you have enough time to get everything that you need to get done that's ready to come out now? Nope. Perfect. Put this down. So now we're going to see if your body needs any additional support in that meridian that you release through. You okay. release through the conception and governing vessel. So take these two fingers and place them in the pits of your eyes right there. You go. Lock, and then we'll go like that. Boom. See how that got weak? Mm -hmm. Okay, ready? We'll go like this. Good. So that's strong. That would mean that you need overall emotional support, but let's do a spray really quick. There's some homeopathic remedies that help to continue to facilitate the release of this emotion. So we are doing the visceral polarity one. So right here. So lift up your tongue. Leave some space there. Oh, ow. Relax. There we go. <laughs> and close your mouth. Hold it there. Perfect. Hold it there. Swallow. All right. All right. Let's get that out of here. Ooh, 
see how strong that is now? <laughs> That's crazy. So essentially what that wow. means is that your body just needs a little bit of extra support to continue to facilitate the release of some of that guilt, you know, that's associated with that shame of feeling like you're not doing enough. It's going to just help wow. to clear it out. So that's I would have you do that three times, three sprays, three times a day. That's awesome. You guys, that was amazing. You should give it a try for real. That just blew my mind. <laughs> it is really, really powerful. Wow. So thank you. Thank you.